I'm out here today with Keith Netterwald, and I found a good spot here recently. I wanted to show Keith just how many colors you get in just a regular pan. Hopefully, we're close enough to that spot. He's going to see some color. He's got the big blue XP pan there. I've got the small one, so I need to get me one like that. Last time me and Keith came down here, we about died. <laughs> Got that right. There was some blood involved. <laughs> I'm already bleeding. <laughs> yes. John don't like coming down here. It's too far for him to walk. But I feel you, John. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a few colors there. Small stuff. See it? Tell you that that blue just get over here on this snake skin. This one right there, see it? Yeah, this isn't the sweet spot then, cause uh. Let's try there's, one there's more place. Let's try right here. You can tell that's decomposed bedrock sticking up. Yeah, I got that. Play. I'm going to pull some of these big rocks out. That looks like pretty good stuff. Yeah, it's got that clay. Oh yeah, I think you'll find more on that. Yeah, when that rock decomposes, it makes that stuff. It's not quite clay, but it, if like it sits there long enough, yeah, if it sits there long enough, it will, I think, become clay. But it breaks up a lot better than some of that clay I've worked in. It's a pretty good place to sluice. Shot. There's a piece of lead. That's a good sign. Right there's gold. I see gold now yeah. from up here. That's a good sign. I don't have to squint at it. <laughs> well, that just made the 15 mile hike worth it. <laughs> 
I'm that, telling you, they got some stuff on this. There's three, three pieces in lead. That, that's not a bad little start, is it? Nah, when you do just a couple. There's four pieces, and that that's not even going deep. So, yeah. Look at how that snake skin stuff. I I tell you, they come up with something right there. I mean, yeah, it is good. I love my Garrett stuff. I used it for years, but see, it's it's yeah, it's held that right piece there, there and there, yeah. and you just keep it kind of semi flat, you know, and let the water see the water pulling it out of there. Yep. And you can shake it back and just get rid of the rest real quick. Jerry Childers put me onto this pan. I I thank you, Jerry, because it's uh it's kind of changed the way I clean up. Here, 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 here. Yeah. So four pieces, four, so if you, four, five. If you get a whole bucket of, of that material, uh, I think you're gonna have a good day, Keith. Yeah, yeah, we should, we definitely should be close anyway. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. See y'all. Getting ready to run my first bucket. Be a ton of gold in that key. <laughs> All right. The thing I found about this, uh, Places you also need to turn it this way. Wash them down because these grooves are so deep. I've had gold stick on them even after doing that. There's the first bucket. It's not a huge amount of gold, but uh, I just gotta dial it in a little bit. I should be getting a about a 0.05 per bucket. There's my second bucket. Uh, a lot of really fine stuff, but not quite what I was looking for. I still thought I need to do some panning and uh, get a little better spot. Too much reflection in the water when the sun's up. It's hard to see. Yeah, there's what I was looking for. There's a nice little pinch of gold in this pan. This is the sluicings from bucket number four.
Well, not a great bucket. There's bucket five. Nothing great, but nothing too bad either. We'll add up. Here's bucket number six. That wasn't too bad. There's number seven. Little itty bitty stuff. There's number eight. That wasn't too bad. About the same as all the others. So I'm going to dump out my snuffer and see what we got today. That was eight buckets. The last time I did eight buckets last weekend, it came to a point three eight. I don't think I did quite that good this time. I might have got a point three. I believe it's at least a quarter. So we'll take it home, weigh it up, see what it weighs. It's a fun day. Got to talk to Keith a little while. Um, just beautiful weather, 70s. I've been in the creek most of the day in just tennis shoes and swimming trunks so that's the way to go i'm glad that uh, i did two more buckets than john by the way i got a late start i didn't get here till 10 o'clock and it's about seven now so i've been here nine hours um, averaged about a bucket an hour i spent a while tracking down my snuffer bottle which got away from me luckily i found it but before i did i ran into holden from Huntersville, nice young man, and uh, he had seen my channel, so that was kind of cool. Um, holding it also had attended Appalachian for a year and played on the football team. And I, he asked me when I graduated. I said 1991. And he said, "Well, I wasn't born till 1997." Let's see how we did today. I think I probably got about a quarter looking at it. Well, it looks like I got a point two nine nine. I think I can call that a point three. Even the scale thing, so 